Hello, welcome back. We are starting a new project. Some of you have already received the studies for this project. It's by um, Waterhouse. He is, uh, it, the original was done in watercolors, but we're doing, in, we're doing this in acrylics. But you have your choice, could be in oils or whatever your preference, it should be fine. Um, now, I did send you some first steps that I took, and um, this one is one that I started to do. I'm going to finish this, but I decided that it was too small for you to see what I was doing. So, I, what I'm doing um, is uh, I'm going to do it in sections so that you this one here some people struggle with hands i'm going to do another section with the with the hands maybe another one with uh, drape her uh, beautiful drapey um, dress but right now i think the most intimidating um, area for most of you is the uh, face and the eyes and that's the one thing we want to tackle first um, but as usual we want to oops, we want to um, go ahead and get some of that water, dampen it, not really drench it, just so it's a little bit friendlier to the to your brush and your paints. Now. The in-between stages is not really going to be very attractive. It's just blocking in. And um, so I am going to start with the background up above her head. And that is because there's it makes such a difference how you read, how we read a color by what the colors around the, um, the subject are. So it really does make a difference and I will show you later. We'll talk about that. We'll do a demo on that eventually. So however you want to get your image, you can project it, you can trace it, you can freehand it. It doesn't really matter, but this one I did enlarge. And I'm going with that, with that square brush, I'm going right up against her profile. See that? One of my main goals right now is to, as I mentioned before, get rid of that white canvas. So, it's going to be broad strokes, and um, in this case, I can still see that outline of the pencil, so if I'm going into her head a little with the paint, don't worry about it. Don't try to be so careful that you're avoiding her head because you don't want to give her a blue head. Um, it's all right. It's just like an underpainting. Just so. All right. So we've got that going. The next step that we're going to do is, um, if you notice, right in this area here, we have the, the foliage, the green background. So I still have some of that blue in my pal in my um, brush. So I'm going right up against her profile. And one of the things that is all the attention, if you notice there's some dark foliage right in this area. It's drawing the attention 
to your eye to the important part of this painting, which is her beautiful face and her beautiful profile. So that's why this is important to get this area um, right. And this, it doesn't matter, see? Not, it does matter, but not. we don't have to be as careful with that. We're gonna go back any, anyway to it. But I do want to get with that sharp edge. It's so great for just showing off that. So I recommend if you are going to do this, and if you want to do all of the background like that, then go, you may want to go to a larger um, canvas than what would get the, than the uh, 11 by 8. You probably want to go um, 14. I'll give you the measurements, but 14 by 16. Because that way you'll be able to get the bigger um, head which will be easier for you to work on. All right, so let's get started with the face. So we're going to do a cadmium, it's gonna be cadmium, red, white, um, and yellow ochre. And it's gonna be quite diluted with white. We're gonna make a tint out of that. So, um, warm today. All right, so now we just get started with her face. Yeah, just block it in. Nice long sweeping strokes. Smooth. You try try to aim for smooth. If it doesn't happen, that's okay because you get more chances at it. But at least you will have um, cover that white canvas. You won't have that anymore. But at this point, it's also important to start looking at your. Uh, areas, where do you have your lights? Where are the mediums? Where is the darkest darks? Uh, so, okay, so I think that's the face. Put a little bit of flesh tone right here. This part of her neck is showing. And so, um, now we want to keep the edge right here where the hairline is and her forehead kind of soft. You do not want to give her a helmet. You want to give her nice beautiful hair. So take it easy with those lines. Keep them soft, soft edges. Sometimes you want soft edges, sometimes you want hard edges. The hard edge is going to be right here with a profile. The soft edges is going to be all around right here where her, the hair is. And um, all right, so then now we're gonna go to our raw umber. And I'm going to come in here with a pretty good amount of um, burnt sienna. I know her hair is much darker than this, but this is a good start. Because it, although it is very dark, it is kind of reddish, and it does have its darks and, dark and lighter areas. Now her head, at some point, there's a line here, her, her, um, her hair is, or there's a line, or she, the parting of her hair, we, although we can tell that part of it is, so we're going to make sure that we have a small separation there to that gives you an idea of the that's where the hair parts. All right, so that's the dark, like um, that one section. And then we're gonna come in here and finish off the rest of it with
it a little darker with the raw umber. So I'm going to come in here, add a little more, tiny little more red. Now when you see, there are several prints of this going around. Some of them decide that there's more, more of a red head. Some of them is just more dark. So you can, however you want to do it, it's fine. But it is going to be a dark color. Now this is the underpainting. Remember, you don't get too specific right now. You, but what you do want to get is the right values, the right shapes, and start looking at those edges. What's a soft edge? So we kept this edge in here, and all the hairline soft. See, I can still come in here and just sort of, it's still kind of wet, so I can still manipulate that a little bit. To give me a nice softness you don't almost don't even see the transition yet um, now we also notice and it's very subtle but there's a nice tiny little flicker of a highlight right in her her chin right in here so let's let's start building on that right now okay just to, even if it's just to remind you that that's where we're going with that all right, now where's, you start asking yourself, where is the darkest dark? And in this place, I noticed that the darkest dark is the hair, especially right in this area. And you start building that up. And also behind her neck, see there's a little triangle in there. And that's important because that is going to give her that neckline right there. And it's just the triangle. It's almost like the shape of this round, of this brush. Okay, now. And that is darker than, than the, because it, it's a, a it's, Right there, underneath, so it's, it, there's a lot of more cast shadows in there. Now the hair is going to continue in the painting, going all the way down to here, down lower. But it, it's, it's not like it just stopped there. It continues behind because she's got her hair towards the back of that one side. Okay, so. Yeah, okay, so now the other thing we're going to do, we're going to come back to her face, of course, to everything. But the other thing you want to do is we're going to come in here with to start putting some color in the white blouse. And that's how we do it. Now, why are we using bl blue if we're doing this, the white sleeve? Well, this, the, the sleeve is white, but white... Remember, it reflects all the colors around it. So we won't, wouldn't just, and it, so that is the underpainting of what the white is gonna be, the white sleeve. And so, so see, if you can just kind of dab on it without being afraid. And right here, this is gonna be also white, so we're doing very light blue. So that's my goal right now. Let's get the whole area covered with paint. And we're, this is gonna take several sessions, 15 minutes each session, which might be a good idea, because that's all I can do right now, which is fine, because probably that's, that's enough for, for you to absorb and to think about and to tackle. Okay, so we'll come back to this uh, next tomorrow, probably.